Authorities say a lie detector test taken by Martha Coleman shows she was not involved with the shooting of Vernon Jordan. Now this. Hey, look who switched the natural light beer. You're, uh... I switched the natural light because it tastes better to me. Yeah, you're, uh... Who are you? Me? Uh... Against 50 to 1 odds at the Belmont Stakes, Temperance Hill raced to an upset victory. More on the ABC Weekend Report. And it's love at first sight when Hunk hooks up with Barbie Benton. Problem is, she's hooked up with someone else. I don't want nothing to do with him. Guess nobody told him you don't go messing with the Hunk. When the whistle blows, next. Now the best store in town brings you the very best from the West. Fresh, fancy California peaches, the first of the season, are only 58 cents a pound from Kohl's. California peaches are better tasting peaches, juicy and sweet, and Kohl's has them at the very sweet price of 58 cents a pound. This week, serve peaches with pork. USDA center-cut rib pork chops from Kohl's are lean and closely trimmed, and we've trimmed the price to just $1.09 a pound. Prices are still down at the best store in town, Kohl's Food. President Carter says some Cubans may be deported. More at 10. Fantasy Island will not be seen this evening, but will return two weeks from tonight at this time. Now stay tuned for the following special press. Nothing to do with him. The old fiddle, the sun coming up. I got cakes on the riddle. Time to be heading home, little darling. Woo! Left for America, son! everywhere are sharing their secrets about Johnson's baby powder. You don't say. Johnson's will keep me cool and dry. I'll try a little. Is that right? Johnson's will make me feel silky soft? Let's smell some on. No kidding. But Johnson's all smell fresh? Let's see that. Johnson's baby powder from Johnson & Johnson. It'll keep you comfortable. Take it from a baby. Half of me likes a full-size feminine napkin. Half of me likes a pad that's a lot more comfortable. Introducing Sure and Natural Maxi Shields. Now you can have a full-size feminine napkin that's a thin, comfortable pad. They're made a whole new way with new super fibers. Give up thick napkins. Sure and Natural Maxi Shields are comfortable all the time. New Sure and Natural Maxi Shields. The full-size napkin that's a thin, comfortable pad. Benefit. Woo! All right, young ladies. 
and let's squeeze together into a nice cohesive group and smile. Smile, Miss Cement Worker. Let's show the whole world we have the prettiest girls alive. You, you promised that your publicity shots would only take a half hour. Right. Well, let's go, girls. Quick, quick, quick. Let's show Mr. Hammerman how appreciative we are for letting us use his construction site. It's Hammerhand, Ted. That's enough of that. You're on company time, you clowns. So get back to work. Relax, Hammerhand. No way we're going over time tonight. We got a bus to meet, right, guys? I still can't believe Tui Wall made it all the way to the States. How many Americans actually get to meet the displaced war orphan that they're sponsoring, huh? All right, normally it's a matter of just sending in the bucks and exchanging a few letters. So how'd you guys get so lucky? It turns out Tui Wall has one surviving relative, an aunt that came from a refugee camp to San Diego. So then she sends for Tui Wall. Now Tui Wall's twisted her arm into sending her up here by bus to meet all her American uncles. You guys are really something, you know that? Here's this little girl, you don't even know, living halfway around the world, and you take her under your wing just like that. Yeah, it kind of blows out tough guy image, doesn't it? Hey, Mr. Ironworker! You can bolt my beam anytime! Woo -hoo -hoo! my apartment, seeing as how I miss my ride. Sure, climb on. Great. Name's Hunk. <laughs> well, if you say so. Come on. There she is. All right. Hold on tight. Okay. There she goes, running away again. Welcome. I've had just about as much as I can take.
she is. Twenty one. Hi, honey. Wait, don't tell me. You are Uncle Bud. Right on. How'd you know that? You're the cowboy. Every letter you promised me, I could wear your hat. Well, here you go. You're even prettier than your pictures, you know that? And you're Uncle Norman, right? The boss. Your letters tell me how beautiful America is. And you are Uncle Randy. Right again. But where is Uncle Hunk? That's a good question. You mean you know what Uncle Hunk looks like, too? Oh, sure. Uncle Hunk, write and tell me he looked just like Tarzan, except for mustache. And he wants to marry me instead of Jane. Well, this isn't Tarzan, but he's a lot cuddlier, believe me. Yeah, let me take your bag. Yeah, these are for you, too, man, from all of us. Are you hungry? Yeah. Come on, let's go get something to eat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I know who the yo-yo is with the shotgun. Malcolm. Right, Malcolm. But you're telling me that he's not the one that's after you. Right. Bo's the one that's after me. Kind of cute fellow driving. Kind of cute? Yes, Bo. Malcolm's brother. My fiance. Your fiance? Well, my ex fiance. Oh, Hunk, I know it sounds confusing. But you gotta understand where I come from. Tennessee, Larkin, Tennessee. Where men are men and women. Well, women have kids, like my five sisters. You believe they got 25 kids between them already? <laughs> and my oldest sister ain't but 30. Must be kind of tough on the wallet. Spoken like a true man. It's tough on the woman, first and foremost. I mean, how's a gal supposed to make something of herself when she's promised to somebody by the time she's 18? And you were promised to Bo. Except I don't want nothing to do with him. That's why I got myself entered in a couple of beauty pageants back home. I figured if I could use my looks to get out of Logan County, that'd be okay. That don't sound too vain, does it? I mean, I never thought I was that pretty. You're pretty as can be, Dixie. Listen, I've got an idea. Why don't you put your stuff inside and come down to Darlene's with me? Hey, wait a minute. No, no, it's a place we all hang out. We're having a little party tonight, and you're more than welcome to come. Well, that's real sweet of you, Hunk. But I think I better try and find me another place to stay. Just in case Bo's daddy comes along, too. Oh, Cooley Jackson. He's twice as mean and twice as smart as both them boys put together. Well, if you change your mind, remember, Darlene's. Okay. Thanks for the ride. Bye. Bye. You know, you speak English just like an American. My father taught me. He was an English teacher at the University of Saigon until... until he was killed in the war. That's when your mother and you escaped? Yes. My mother got very sick, and a few days later, she died. And then the orphanage. I had no family. Let me tell you something, honey. You got a family now. No, no, do you why you have to yell out. Yeehaw! Right up, cowgirl. Here, where's my hat? It's time for the Ballad of the East to meet the best of the West. You're in for a treat. 
treat to him, huh? Arlene makes the best cowboy food around. That's right. Billy the Kid taught her everything she knows. You knew Billy's the kid? Personally. Uh-huh. That's right, too, uh. I taught Billy how to shoot. Bang! And he taught me how to make ribs. <laughs> Dixie Lee! I decided to come after all. You moved that fast? I wish I had. I didn't move at all. I was lucky to get what I did and climb out the window before Bo and Malcolm broke the door down. Broke the door down? You should have heard him. Screaming he was going to take me back to Tennessee no matter what. So where are you going to stay? I don't know. Seems like they'll find me anywhere I go. Listen, I got this little house in the canyon, and sure as the devil, they're not going to bother you at my place. I thought it's real hospitable of you, Hunk. I might just take you up on it. Come on, I want you to meet the gang. Bo! Easier for you, little darling. Oh, won't you ever give up, Bo? There never was anything between us, and there never's gonna be. Bo! Excuse me, sir. I, I do hope you'll pardon this little intrusion here, but uh, if I can prevail on your sense of compassion for these uh, two young lovers here, why, we'd like to have a private word with Dixie Lee. No. That's all I have to say. Now, Dixie Lee, if you know what's good for you, why, you'll just say goodnight to the year-round friend here. And come with us, and we'll go on back to the motel. The lady already said no, so hit the highway. What's going on over here? Do you own this place, little lady? Yeah. Well, now, hey, I'm uh, sure you folks here wouldn't want to see World War III starting this little lady's place here, now would you? So, I'm going to have my boy Malcolm over here just to give you a little demonstration of what you can expect if you don't let us take care of our business and be on our way. Malcolm? Hey, you sucker! You crazy! Don't, 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 don't you worry, little lady. I figured, I figured that ought to cost somewhere around $300 to put that up again. But I tell you what, I'll send you a check first thing in the morning. <laughs> you see, that's what's in the Save your strength, son. Now, I think we let these folks have the idea without there being too much bloodshed. And as for you, oh, we'll be back to get what rightfully belongs to my boy. And there ain't nothing gonna stop us next time. And that's a promise. Let's go, boy. Timex Quartz. You never wind it. Not ever. It keeps absolutely fanatic time all by itself. You never touch it? Practically never. But always when I fly to Paris. Different time, you know. I just push that little button. That's fascinating. That's enough talk about my Timex Quartz.
Did you know that one TV station in town organizes the largest free health fair in all of Wisconsin? Sponsors a food drive that shared 40,000 pounds of food with 3,000 needy families last Thanksgiving and spends its summers raising money to fight muscular dystrophy. Last year, over $100,000. Community involvement is something we believe in on Channel 12. If you haven't seen us lately, you should see us now. Channel 12, WISN-TV, Milwaukee. date I set you up with was expecting a romantic dinner. Not a five-mile jog and two pounds of raw liver. No, oh, come on, Luce. I'm talking about Dixie Lee. She's so nervous about goofing up the beauty contest. I thought maybe you could kind of go along after work and settle her down. You want me to keep an eye on her for you. Okay, so I'm a liar. I just want to make sure the Jackson clan doesn't try and push their luck. Sure, why not? But I'd be a lot happier if it was a Mr. America contest. You think you can send me a picture of this building when you finish? Heck, we can do better than that. You bet we can. When it's finished, you just hop on a bus, come back up, and see it for yourself. Sounds nice. But I won't be here. Well, you'll be down in San Diego with your aunt. So we'll send you a bus ticket. You don't understand. I have to go back to the orphanage in Thailand next week. But your aunt sent for you. But just for a visit. It'll take four years to get papers to come to the United States forever. I don't believe this. Hey, do we what? Why don't us girls spoil ourselves with some cherry pie at Max's truck, huh? Good idea, Aunt Lucy. Come on. It's just not fair to send that sweet little thing back to the orphanage. There must be something we can do. Yeah, maybe we can write our congressman. Why write? He's in town. Like me can't hack. It's early to rise, early in the sack. Thank God I'm a country girl. Well, a simple kind of life never did me no harm. Raising me a family and working on a farm. The days are all filled with an easy country charm. Thank God I'm a country girl. Trade my life for diamonds or jewels. There never was one of them money hungry fools. I'd rather have my fiddle and my farm and tools. Thank God I'm a country girl. Yeah, city folks driving in a black limousine. A lot of sad people think I'm that kind of king. Well, folks, let me tell you now exactly what I mean. I thank God I'm a country girl. Well, I got me a man and I got me old fiddle. The sun's coming up. I got cakes on the griddle. Not being nothing but a fun of fun of it How could she show herself in public like that? Well, it's a sinful state of affairs, I know, boy, but you just be patient now. We don't want any trouble. And you watch the doors from the outside. Yes, ma'am. Well, my daddy taught me young how to hunt and how to whittle. He taught me how to work and play a tune on the fiddle. He taught me how to live and how to love just a little. Woo! Thank God I'm a country girl. Ah, that's lovely, Miss uh, Ironworker. Just lovely. 
Well, let's see. That uh, concludes the rehearsal for the talent portion of our show. What do you say we all go home, get a good night's sleep, so we can be all fresh as a daisy for the final judging tomorrow night? Okay? Thank you. Good night, ladies. Good night, musicians. Good night, stagehands. We hate to see you go. Let's go. What do we do now? Think fast. gentlemen I would believe me I would why do I get the feeling that there's a butt coming listen as your congressman I'll try naturally like Norm was saying Tui Wai is scheduled to be sent back to an orphanage in Thailand mr. Dillard I understand how concerned you are do you have any idea how many aliens want to come in this country just last week I read about a senator who got Congress to make an allowance for a Russian defector Senator Willerson. Down the hill, we call that a private bill. Then there's your answer. Right. Uh, uh, hold it, gentlemen. It isn't as easy as it looks. I mean, Senator Willerson's bill was a very uh, rare and unique proposition. And Tui Wai is a rare and unique kid. I understand. Now, I, I really do have a meeting, and I'm late for it. I told you. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. At the moment, I have to recommend uh, going through the approved procedure as outlined in Title VIII of the U.S. Code. That's 1101. Look, excuse me, Congressman, but we're iron workers. We work with our hands. I mean, we can build a skyscraper or a building, but when it comes to filling out forms, but would you mind if we brought in an expert on red tape? I mean, somebody who might understand the matter better. Of course not. It's a good idea. Thank you. Say hello to Congressman Rogers. Who our whole gang voted for. And who we hope to vote for again. This November. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hello, Tuiwa. Nice to meet you. I understand you're quite a world traveler. Yes, sir. And I love America. The people here have been so nice to me that it warms my heart. You were saying, Congressman, about uh, going through official channels. Yes, yes, Mr. Jenkins. Well, what you have to do is... Uh, I mean, what 
to me what I will have to do. When you get back to your own country, you'll have to get somebody to take you to the nearest U.S. consulate. And then you ask for a form, I-140, I think it is. Ah, the heck with it. Look, I, I'm, I'm going to do everything I can to try to bring Tui Wah's plight to the attention of my colleague. That's great. All right. And we just hold it. Hold it, gentlemen. Now, naturally, I do value your votes. But you have to value my judgment. Meaning? Meaning. I'll try. But in all honesty, it's a long shot. I'm just looking after him. Poor guy. The least we can do is buy him a steak and a beer. Hey, I'm management now. The least you can do is buy me a steak and a low and brown. When you want the taste of a truly great American beer, tonight, let it be low and brown. Well, what do you think, guys? Does the place seem better? Danny, it feels better. And now, brand new banana! of an ABC movie double feature. No robbery, no sexual molestation, no food. When murder has no reason, there's only one man to call. Do something to you. William Conrad is Turnover Smith. Tomorrow. Stay tuned, America. When the whistle blows, is coming right back. Sunday in the rugged Pacific Northwest, Andy Griffith is head of the fighting family called the Jaegers. And now, Action News Brief. Good evening, everyone. Presidential hopeful Ronald Reagan is in Milwaukee. He addressed the Wisconsin State Republican Convention. Governor Lee Dreyfus opened that convention by demanding that all state agencies cut their budgets by a full 2%. Dreyfus blames the Democratic legislators for a $12.5 million budget deficit. And for the second time in several days, a computer gave a false signal that the U.S. was under attack by Soviet missiles. Now this. Why settle for a whole set of China when, for the same price, you can have one good place setting? Triber and Straub, Mayfair. With gusting winds under sprinkling skies, it's 64 degrees in Milwaukee. Details plus weather sports and Milwaukee sports today, coming up at 10. It's Tic-Tac-Toe with Wink Martindale. Contestants give their all as they vie for big money in the children's game that has grown up. Watch Tic-Tac-Toe, 6 o'clock weekdays on Channel 12. Open a fresh new package filled with people and fun for the whole family. Discover the world of PM Magazine. Weeknights at 6.30 on Channel 12. Colder's fiscal year-end furniture sale on right now, daily 10 to 9. This is a big one. Save 20 to 60 percent on furniture, carpeting, and air conditioners. Colder's Milwaukee. to go with the conversation. We just have to wait and see. Where's Tui Wah? Buzz took her home. She was exhausted after her introduction to congressional mumbo-jumbo. You girls okay? <laughs> we are now. I guess I just forgot how stubborn Bo and his daddy can be when they set their minds to something. If you were smart, you'd call the police and let them set their minds to raise and bail for attempted kidnapping. Well, no way that'd stop them. The last person in the world to have respect for Bob Moonshine. Moonshine. Back home, everybody's heard of Cooley Jackson and Sons. They're the biggest in the business. If it was anybody else but that old reprobate, I'd take his card for reference later. That's just in case Prohibition comes back, you understand? Uh, you remember Prohibition, don't you, Norm? Just what you told me about it, sweetheart. Oh, another turkey. Oh, Randy, we better take a rain check. Dixie Lee's got to get her beauty sleep. It's a big day tomorrow. All right. 
but I just want y'all to know that I think you're the nicest people in the whole world. I mean, when I'm around you, it's just like Bo and the whole lot of that Jackson family are just a million miles away. Pure genius, Pa. Pure genius the way you got yourself here in this van. You better believe it, boy. If we could have found us a motel with a little bit bigger bathtub in it for brewing whiskey, ha! I could have made enough that we traded this thing all the way up to a, a Rolls Royce. <laughs> pa, 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 look. It's Dixie Lee with that wall-eyed donkey's uncle. You just tell me when, Pa. This time I'll tear him apart. For the last time, dummy. If you don't shut up and sit down, I'm gonna let the air clean out of your brain. tell you how it ends. The good guy wins and he lives happily ever after. I wish I was the good guy. Now just what is that supposed to mean? If I was good guy, I'd live happily ever after. In the United States with my aunt and you and Aunt Lucy and Uncle Norm. Hold it. Hold it. Who says you're not? That man today. Congressman Rogers who smile at everybody and talk like this. He sound full of beans. No, 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 Tui Wan. Now, you keep talking like that, and I'm not going to let you have your nose back. Then why he not tell me yes right away? Look, honey, I... I wish I had a good answer for that, but I just don't. All I know is that you can't give up hope. Look at my Uncle Stretch. Uncle Stretch? Uncle Stretch Dillard, he was the king of all cowboys. A real cowboy? Well, that's right. Although there was a time when he didn't think he'd amount to a hill of beans. Why? Well, he was only four feet two. Almost exactly, yeah, exactly your size. <laughs> and you say he was a cowboy? Yeah, but not at first. At first he worked for a blacksmith, on account of he didn't have to bend over and pick up the horse's hooves. But he dreamt of being a cowboy. And he dreamt of fighting off bad guys twice as big as he was and then riding off into the sunset with a pretty girl. Just like John Wayne? Exactly. And you know, that's just what happened. Because Uncle Stretch Dillard had a heart that big. Almost as big as your heart, too, Ivan. Sweet dreams, little cowgirl. It really means a lot to you, doesn't it? Winning that beauty contest tomorrow. Well, it's a start. Anything so I don't have to go back home. Home to bowl, you mean? To everything. I mean, here I got my whole life ahead of me. Back home, I'll end up just like one of my five sisters. No real future. No way to better myself. Okay, you're a knockout. You got my vote hands down. What happens if you don't win that contest? Bite your tongue. Or better yet, have an olive. Dixie, I'm serious. Right now, you're being promised the world. Expense-paid trips all over the country, scholarships, modeling contracts, all that stuff. So what's wrong with that? Nothing if you win. But if you lose, look, I've been there. I know what it's like when the champagne and caviar turns into a one-way bus ticket. 
You do? Oh, yeah, I do I. I was a big college football star. Instant All-American. Next step, the NFL. Except no one told me. Told you what? When you rip up your knee, all bets are off. No football. No more free college education. No brass ring. I'm sorry, hon. I really am. Don't be. Once I figured all that out for myself and learned to live with it, that's when I started getting it all together. Now I'm happy with what I am. And who I am. your clothes you left behind in that room in the house. tropical fruits come together with 10% fruit juice for the taste everybody loves. Go Hawaiian! Go Hawaiian! There's an exciting new flavor from Hawaiian Punch. A new wild fruit punch. I'm just wild about the taste. Really wild, Marie. New wild fruit punch from Hawaiian Punch. Spring water. Natural spring water. And this is the only tuna packed in natural spring water. Star Kissed. It has half the calories of tuna packed in oil, half the calories. And if you're watching your waist, Star Kissed in natural spring water could make a measurable difference. Star Kissed. The only tuna in natural spring water. Great taste. Great for your waist. Uh, tell him Charlie sent you. Sunday on the second half of an ABC movie double feature. Bust hookers? Golly, Mr. Dillon. It's a walk on the wild side with the cops who go to work when the sun goes down. Golly, that must hurt. They're taking it as it comes on the night side. <laughs> Tomorrow. Too full, boy. We'd fill this order a lot faster if you'd lend a helping hand, little brother. You know, he's right, boy. I promised that man over there at that bar that we'd have these hundred quarts over to him by sundown. Jumping pigs, Pa. What are you going to be so greedy for? You already got enough money squirreled away to buy half of Larkin County. Why can't we just pick up and take off now? Because it ain't for the money, boy. It's the idea of working by the sweat of your brow and the money. Look what I fixed up for you. I, 
I know you're all worked up now, and well, it may take a while. Maybe not till we've been married for a spell, but one of these days you're gonna realize you've been crazy about me all along. You're hungry, huh? Mm-hmm. If, if, if I take that thing off of your mouth and give you some of this chicken, you promise not to make a fuss? Mm-hmm. I just can't believe what a numbskull I am. I shouldn't have taken my eyes off Dixie for a minute. You're gonna worry your ruts straight down to China you keep on this way, hunk. Yeah, why don't you sit down and have some coffee? We just can't sit here doing nothing. Everything that can be done has been done. Well, Any luck? Well, we've been just about everywhere. The sheriff, the highway patrol, the FBI. We even stopped at Darlene's to ask her to pass the word around to keep an eye out. And for all we know, they're halfway back to Tennessee by now. Hello? Hello, Honky, it's Darlene. What is it, Darlene? You hear something? Oh, not about Dixie. But last night after you left, I got to thinking about those Jackson boys being in the moonshine business. Well, what about it? Honky, uh, you know a fella named Easy Ed Calloway? Yeah, I know Callaway. He owns a joint called uh, Horsetail Bar. Well, seems like he's all up about getting a shipment of moonshine today from some jokers that just hit town. He wanted to lay off 25 gallons of the stuff on me. Of course, I told him to drop dead. Anyway, I thought it might mean something to you. Did he say when today? No, well, Callaway doesn't open till 5 o'clock. That's, uh, that's 15 minutes from now. Couldn't be before then. Thanks, Darlene. Take a leg, boys. We gotta get this stuff unloaded and get. Never put off till tomorrow the things you'd like to be doing today. Ain't that what you always say, Paul? <laughs> you ain't too uh, swift when it comes to putting slippery things together, are you, boy? I was just thinking, why wait till we get all the way back home for me and Dixie Lee to be hitched? Oh, can't wait to make the granddaddy Teddy Pa. You mean, uh, sort of like a loper, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, what we gotta do is find ourselves a preacher man. <coughs> you, you stop that buttercup, yeah?
you use for flavoring, Cooley. But it's dynamite. Congressman Rogers' office. How's Dixie Lee doing? Too close to call. Miss Heavy Equipment just knocked him dead with her, her heavy equipment. And Miss Concrete, Carol Ann Sutter. Carol Ann comes all the way from Tacoma, Washington. May I have the envelope, please? And now I bet the audience is as excited as I am. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. But remember, folks, every girl up here is a winner. The second runner-up in the Miss Hard Hat USA Beauty Contest is Miss Cement Mixer, Connie Jo Harrison. Let's hear it for Connie Jo. Are you ready? Attention is building. The first runner-up in our search for Miss Hardhat USA is Miss Pipe Fitter Rosalie Anderson. <laughs> Congratulations, Rosalie. And now, the winner. Here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Are you ready? I'm pleased to announce that Miss Hardhat USA is Miss Ironworker Dixie Lee Griffin. not as good as mine. Don't tell me. Yep. Congressman Rogers' deputy in Washington introduced the bill in Congress this afternoon and it passed. Fantastic. The wait is over, Tui. Why? You're as American now as apple pie. Morning, night and noon. Ride them, cowgirl. Come back again. A pretty girl is just like a pretty tune. Mm -hmm. Just like the strain of a haunting refrain. She came home. I traded in a Toyota for my new Monza Coupe. I happen to think Monza is a very stylish car. 
and it rides beautifully. Not only did Hazel Stange come home, but in the last calendar year, more people have traded their foreign cars for Chevrolet than any car, foreign or domestic. Come on home to Chevrolet, come on home today. Come on home. The weekend's here, and now's your time to take a well-earned break. Your family is all together now, so start to celebrate. With eggs and sausage, hot cakes too, fresh and hot for you. You deserve a break today, and nobody makes your day like McDonald's can. What is this? You're not leaving. Right so, hunk. I gotta get on to the next beauty contest. But, but I thought you were gonna think twice about that kind of life. Well, I did. And I still think it's my one chance of becoming something special. A beauty queen? Just think about all that scholarship money I'll have to go back to school on. <laughs> now you're talking. You bet your bottom dollar. Bye, Lucy. Oh, good luck to you. Thank you. <laughs> Same to you. Bye, Tuiwa. So long, hunk. I'll see you around. I'm gonna miss you. I really am. to reveal a trade secret for the very first time. A secret shared only by hairdressers. Introducing Germac, the professional hair care collection formerly available only through salons. The Germac collection, specially developed by hair care professionals, each shampoo and conditioner is individually formulated to meet a specific hair need. The beautiful, healthy looking hair the professional way. Germac, trade secret of beautiful hair, now at a store near you. Maxwell House is coffee to relax with. Maxwell House is good coffee. Maxwell House is good show. Good to the last drop. Maxwell House. There's nothing like relaxing with a cup of Maxwell House coffee. Coffee you can count on. Always good to the last drop. Maxwell House is good ending. Good to the last drop. Maxwell House. finds me here, he is gonna kill you. Me? What about you? You don't kill daughters. You make them live to regret it. Next, on When the Whistle Blows. Randy, I can give you just what a woman gives a man. Wait a minute, you got it all wrong. If anybody would have hurt Sharon, I don't know what I'd do to him. Oh, Randy, please let me stay. You mean live here? A new house guest with a roving eye gives Jack stiff competition on Three's Company. Then on Taxi, Louis turns his first meeting with his girlfriend's parents into a hilarious confrontation. And a treasure hunt becomes a game of life and death on Heart to Heart. Wednesday on Family, Buddy faces an emotional crisis as she prepares to leave home for college Wednesday on ABC. Sucker, so watch your hands. The Hartleys are dueling doubles partners Thursday at 10.